Hello, this is Dr. Salvatore Vinciguerra, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the Gospel Music Hall of Fame in Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I'll also be sharing with you performances from Kingdom Airs. Southern Gospel music is a very important part of the culture of the Great Smoky Mountains and the people who live in Tennessee. Dollywood is most probably the only theme park in the United States to have chapel service on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. during the regular season, and then during the Smoky Mountain Christmas, they have it on Sundays at 5.30 p.m. in the Robert F. Thomas Chapel, which is named after the doctor that delivered Dolly Rebecca Parton. Gospel music has always had a significant influence on Dolly Parton, you can see this in her songwriting and also in many of her performances. Inside of Dolly's personal museum, you can discover who her biggest influence was on her music, and that was Dr. Dorothy Joe. Reverend Dorothy Joe Owens Pardon was a singer and songwriter that helped Dolly Pardon write Old Time Preacher Man, which received a BMI award. A quote from Dolly Parton inside of the museum says, Dorothy Joe was my hero, not only as a person, writer, singer, and musician, but she was my spiritual advisor and my greatest inspiration. The Southern Gospel Music Association is a professional preservation association of artists, songwriters, industry workers, and fans founded to preserve, protect, and promote Southern Gospel music, its history, and its heritage. Southern gospel music has enjoyed a long and colorful history with many talented individuals and dedicated professionals whose efforts helped create a unique sound of harmonies, melodies, and uplifting words. The genre's artists, both past and present, provide entertainment to millions of people with a central message built around biblical truths and spiritual values. Originally, Southern gospel music was sung only by quartets, utilizing a style known as four-part harmony, often from books where musical notes were identified by their shape. Henceforth, many singing books sprung up around the country teaching this shape note method. Often, a musically adept person would travel from town to town teaching school for a couple of weeks, where interested students paid a small fee to attend. Later, larger, more professional schools would be established in the cities where more serious students were trained. James D. Vaughn of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee is credited with establishing the first Southern Gospel Music Quartet in 1910. In the early years, quartets were hired by music publishing companies to travel the country, entertaining, teaching, and selling books produced by their sponsoring company. By the 1930s and 40s, most quartets were independent and Southern Gospel music as we know it today was in full bloom. And now let's listen to Kingdom Airs performing at Dollywood. Please look in the description box as I will be posting the Kingdom Airs website and where you can purchase their CDs. <laughs> Thank you. 
Satan reminds me of things I I bring out Calvary lest he forget. Gospel Music Hall of Fame in Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to this channel, and have a great day. Thank you.